For all of you that have been wanting me to review a tabletop red light therapy panel, good news. Today I'm reviewing this, the Dermabeam Supreme 300 watt tabletop red light therapy device. Let's get into it. Hey guys, Alex here from alexfergus.com and yes, today I am reviewing a new red light therapy device. This is the Derma, Derma Beam, Derma Beam Supreme 300 watt red light therapy panel. Now this is the tabletop version though as we will soon see, you don't have to use it as a tabletop panel, you can also hang it. 60 LEDs putting out 660 and 850 nanometer light, so your, your standard um, wavelengths here. Uh, and it's from a company that I haven't reviewed before. I, in fact, I wasn't even really aware of them until recently. I've now got two of their products. I've got this and one of their Derma Beam masks. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see that review. Now, a little bit about this company. It is founded by a gentleman named, now I apologize if I say this wrong, Takashi Younghai. I hope I said that right. Uh, and so he suffered from acne and eczema and found that red light therapy or light therapy in particular was an absolute game changer for him. He regained confidence to you know, live a, a normal life as he was no longer covered in eczema and, and whatnot. And there's some amazing photos over on his um, website as well, over at the Dim Beam website. So go check them out. Um, and so that led him to founding Derma being the company and now his mission is to get this into the hands of as many people as possible and help them with their skin ailments or as you all know, uh, red light therapy is, is not just good for skin issues, it's also amazing for a ton of other issues. In fact, I had a quick look on the Derma Beam uh, Facebook page and there was a really good graphic there that I may, I may even reuse uh, with his permission uh, and it had a table of all the uh, uh, health benefits that particular wavelengths, red light therapy wavelengths um, can improve. So it was really good. I'll see if I can get that up for you guys as well. So anyway, enough about the company. Oh, I should mention they are also based in the States. They do free shipping to America and I think it's about $50 to get one of these shipped to your door if you're outside of America. And one other thing, I've also been given a discount code for the Derma Beam products and it is code Alex, A-L-E-X, it will save you, I believe, 10%. So that's pretty cool. So thank you guys for that. Now, enough about the company, let's have a look at the product. So first things first, I'm gonna have a look at the box, open it up, and then we're gonna test it using my spectrometer. Uh, I'm gonna do initial setup, share my thoughts on operation, how it looks, how it runs, uh, crunch the numbers, crunch some value calculations, and then we're gonna compare it to other products within the Derma Beam product line, and then particular, um, or competing rivals, I guess so. Okay, so we got the product box here. Uh, it's well packaged, well designed. A little bit about what's included, how to use it, benefits, all that cool stuff. So let's open it up. You can see uh, the panel itself and the accessories. So we got some goggles, uh, a door hanging hook, little wire clips for the top, little pulley system, and a PowerPoint, which is in my New Zealand Australia plug, which is great. Um, so those are actually all your standard accessories that you'd get in a typical body panel. Now, let's look at the panel itself. It's not um, as heavy as I thought, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's got a nice little carry handle at the top here. I haven't seen a product, a panel like this before with this sort of control panel on the top and the power button there. Uh, off to the side, you can see the um, PowerPoint, some air vents, uh, two fans on the back, two fans on the back there, nice little logo, uh, some rubber feet on the bottom and on the side. And then we see this, the tabletop stand, which is um, actually quite basic really. It's just a piece of metal. So if I sit this down like so, yeah, that works really good. You can adjust the angle. Surprisingly, it holds really good. So that's cool. Uh, on the top here, you've got some mounts. So that's for your, these cables here. So you could hang it from your wall or your door. So we'll play around with that soon as well. So yeah, pretty neat. We'll fire this up later uh, and see how it runs. And then we've got two flyers in here. Okay, so I've got it sitting here on a bedside table. I'm gonna plug it in, we'll fire it up and then have a look at it. And then I'm going to um, get my spectrometer and see how it 
actually performs. All right, I've got that all set up. Now what I'm gonna do is use my spectrometer here and we're gonna test the power uh, readings on this panel and then we're gonna have a play around with it and uh, I'll share my thoughts. All right, so the numbers are in. Now, uh, if you have never seen any of my videos before and you wanna know what I'm testing and why I'm testing and how I'm testing, I'll put a link to a, a video that explains all that. What I'm gonna do now is just crunch the numbers and then provide my feedback. Now, the peak irradiance figure that I received at six inches was 47 milliwatts over centimeter squared. So, yeah, that, that's a good reading. It's not, um, it's not radically high like we see in your biomaxes and your mito red full body panels, which are, 70, 80, 90 milliwatts. Um, but for a small sort of panel um, with less LEDs, it's, it's okay. It's not underpowered, that's for sure, but it's not you know, gonna break any records. I had an average reading of 32, which meant the total wattage output was 13.6. Now, what I do with all these numbers is I populate them in a spreadsheet with all the panels I've tested. Um, so you can compare the, the specs of this panel and compare them to other panels and um, you know see which one's better value for you. So I'll put a link to that spreadsheet below as well. Um, 13.6 watts, this is the first time I've tested a tabletop panel, so I don't really have anything to put into, into perspective. Um, but like I said, 47 as a peak power, 32 as an average. You're gonna get a therapeutic dose, and because it is more of a targeted size, uh, you can't expect the full body treatment. Of course, you're gonna to have to move it around if you wanna do the full body treatment. So it's not meant to compete with your Biomax 900, for instance. It's meant to be more you know, focused on the face or the shoulder or the knee. Um, of course, you can hang it, which we'll, we'll look at soon. Now, I also used my Cornet EMF meter. Uh, there is no electric reading, which is great. Uh, there was no microwave reading, which is also great. Uh, there was a little bit of a magnetic reading at six inches, where it was 0 0.16 micro Teslas, which puts us at yellow, low yellow sort of reading on here, uh, which is, it's not bad. Uh, in fact, three years ago, that was the norm. It's just with these newer panels, we're seeing um, at six inches, they're in the green, which is a lot better. Uh, at three inches, we were double that, oh, over double that, 0 0.35 micro Teslas. Again, that's a yo low yellow. It's not concerning. Um, I personally wouldn't be worried about it, but if you are, just know that there are panels out there that are better. Again, though, I haven't tested any tabletop panels. Finally, there was no flicker, and the sound was 54 decibels. There's two fans at the back of this so the sound was um it was rather i wouldn't say pleasant but it definitely wasn't um irritating or overly loud so no issues there all right now that we have that data we can crunch some value figures so the dollar per led figure is seven dollars fifty that means you're paying seven dollars fifty per led of course the bigger the panel Typically, the lower that figure is, you know, you might see three or four dollars on a, a panel with 300 LEDs, for instance. Um, remembering this has 60 LEDs. Uh, the dollar per watt figure was $33.10. Now, this may seem high because to date I've always reviewed large um, panels, though I have done some small handheld ones. So, um, anyway, typically I'm reviewing large panels. So, the, we can see figures pretty much down to well, around $10 and even less. That means you're spending $10 for, for one watt of therapeutic red light. Here you're spending $30 for one watt of therapeutic red light. Remember though, you're also paying for the convenience of having a small panel, um, you know, the tabletop stand and whatnot, things that you don't get in the other panel. So it's pretty much like most things in life. If you buy a bigger one, you're getting better value. And that's true here. Again, I haven't reviewed any tabletop. This is my first tabletop panel, so I can't even compare it, but I will do some rough comparisons later in this video. Now that we've looked at all that stuff, let's come in close and have a look at how this thing runs. All right, so I've got it set up here on the table. The little kickstand comes out. It's pretty neat. You can easily change the angle, and um, it does have this little carry handle at the top, which is also kind of cool. It's not too heavy to move around, though it is a metal case. Um, you can hang it, so you can get this little metal wire here, screws in on the top like so uh, so then of course you could hang that from a hook or you could use this door bracket slots over the door hang it from that and uh, you've also got this pulley system um, so you can adjust the height so yeah you could hang it from the wall and use it for I don't know your knees or your face if you want to stand next to it um, though 
the benefit of these tabletop designs is you can have it on your breakfast table I don't know, dining table while you're having breakfast and shine it on your face. Um, but yeah, anyway, you've got options, which is cool. When you look at it, the first thing you're probably going to notice, other than the handle, is this um, power cable off to the side here. Rather ugly. Um, just sort of, yeah, not cool. Uh, but it sort of makes sense that it went there because if it was behind the unit, it may get in the way because it's got such small rubber feet. It may get in the way if you're hanging it from the wall. If it was underneath, uh, you wouldn't be able to use it like we're using it now. It might get in the way. Maybe it could have gone on top, um, though I think what would have been better is if it had a right angle, you know, like a bracket, so it sent the cable down rather than just straight out. And as you notice there, it's not very tight. Like it may, like I noticed, I knocked it then and the power went off. Not a big issue, but it may just get in the way. Okay, let's come in close and look at the control panel. Now the control panel is all on the front. Typically they're on the side and I think the larger derma beam um, panels have the control panel on the side, but this is on the front. So, so at the moment the power is on at the wall. I'm going to turn it on here. That glows red showing that the power is on and the screen comes on and it reads off. I don't know if you can see that, but it says off. Now, if I hit mode, it's going to come up with an N or an R for red light or NR, which is which is both. So you can alternate between your 850 near infrared, your 660 red light, or both. Um, it kind of looks more like an A, like NA, but um, I'm assuming it's meant to be an R. So that's the mode button. Uh, plus and minus is your time. So it defaults to 29. You can go all the way up to 30, or it looks like you can just leave it running with on, um, which is interesting because most of the panels have set limits you can't leave them running for too long because they can overheat so that's interesting uh, and that time is simple you set it to 10 minutes after 10 minutes it turns off so what we're going to do now is we're going to set it to the buttons that aren't the nicest buttons to press but they do the job so now it's set to on and i'm going to hit this little power button boom and away we go and the panel runs so yeah, so that doesn't have a time limit, which is interesting. I wonder if there would be issues of overheating because like I said, these aren't designed to run 24 seven. Um, so yeah, just keep that in mind if you do get this particular product. So really that's it when it comes to the control panel. There's no advanced modes like flicker options or dimming ability or wireless sync or anything like that. I don't even think you could get another one of these and clip them together by the looks of it. No, you can't. So there's no modular support either but again you if you're in the market for a tabletop panel you're probably not worried about all those other features that the larger panels do have um i do like the kickstand i think that works really well uh, it's just simple it's built in you don't have to get another product or buy another accessory or anything like that but at the same time you can easily fold it up and then hang it from the wall as well um, it's small and light enough that you could travel with it uh, i recently did a video on options for traveling. I wish I had this at the time because it would have been a much better option than some of the other products I talked about. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's good as a, as a travel option. Though I should mention, uh, Duma Beam do a smaller one which may be even more suitable for traveling. So let's look at other options both within the Duma Beam product line, line and the competing products. Now, first things first, this particular unit here sells for 499 US dollars. Discount code Alex, A-L-E-X, will save you 10%, so that brings it down to $450. Now, shipping's free to the States, like I mentioned earlier. If you wanted to save a bit of money and get a smaller device, you could get the 200 watt. This is the 300 watt, you can get the smaller 200 watt. Uh, it has less LEDs, uh, 40 LEDs instead of 60, uh, but it is $90 cheaper. It does put the dollar per LED price up to $9 compared to $7.50, so again, you, you spending more to get less in a way but the upside is it's a lot smaller a lot more uh, useful for traveling and if you only want to spot target you know your, your face your jaw your teeth your knee maybe that's all you do or all you need um if you want to go bigger if you want to spend a bit more money and go bigger then you can go up to the thousand watt which is 250 leds uh, it also has five wavelengths not just your standard 660 and 850 which is a big appeal uh it's a lot bigger obviously um, it comes in at a discounted price of $1,800, which is quite expensive for the amount of LEDs in there. It's still a $9 LED price. Um, and when you compare that to say your Mito Reds and your 
Solp ACMs and your infrared Maxes and stuff. It, it is rather expensive, but those are your options. Alternatively, what about other tabletop panels on the market? Well, I haven't looked into this too much. Like this was the first panel that I have uh, received in this product size. Um, but I did do a little bit of research. So I looked at Juve, Platinum, and Miterade because those are the three big players when it comes to red light therapy. So the Juve tabletop is a 60 LED product as well. Remember, this is also 60. Uh, they sell their product though for $1,000. Uh, and I, I, that doesn't include shipping or taxes, by the way. So you're spending big money. I also don't have a discount code for them. So you're spending um, you know, nearly $17 per LED, which is, which is big. Juve is a little bit nicer as a design and has a few more bells and whistles and features. Um, and you're also getting the brand name Juve, uh, but they don't put out the most power. I haven't tested that tabletop panel, but um, I may try and get one actually and, and review it. Otherwise you could look at the Platinum LED Biomax 300. Now this is slightly larger than this particular panel. It has a hundred LEDs. With the extra tabletop stand, uh, you're paying $635 after using discount code Alex. So that's, it's cheaper per LED than this, uh, $6.30 per LED, plus you're getting a lot more power. The Biomax panels are the most powerful in the, in the market. Uh, you're getting your multi-wavelength technology and um, you're getting some nicer control panels as well. Plus a better warranty. And that's one thing I should have mentioned earlier. The warranty on this product is only one year. Uh, that's, it's subpar. The Biomax, for instance, from Platinum is a three year warranty. Uh, Mito Red, I believe, are three years. Juve, I think, are two years. So, yeah, one year is, is, is a bit of a disappointment. And the final product I'd like to compare this with is the Mito Red Mito Pro 300. Now, this panel also has 60 LEDs, and with the stand, you can get it for $330 after using discount code Alex. So, that's, that's actually a lot cheaper than this. Uh, you know, $120 cheaper. I believe they do free shipping, though they may have changed that because of the crazy cross cost crisis we've got at the moment. Uh, but still works out to be a lot cheaper per LED, $5.50 per LED. Uh, and the Mito Red, I haven't tested the Mito Pro 300, but I have tested the 1500 and it's extremely powerful and um, a good panel all around. So yeah, I mean, hey, if you're super serious about this, it is worth checking out some of those other ones. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, what are my concluding thoughts on this product? Well, Dermabeam, it's a new company. Like I said, I've been in the red light therapy space for a long time and it's still relatively new to me. Only a one year warranty, so you, com you combine those two factors and you think, hey, look, if I buy this and something goes you know, wrong is th and the company's belly up in six months time, what happens there? And that is, that is a concern, you know, with these new companies that pop up on the market. So you've always got to factor that into the uh, equation, compare it to say Juve or Platinum who have been around for say 10 years, right? Um, but at the same time, it is reasonably well priced. I mean, compared to say the Mito Red Mito Pro, it does seem a little bit expensive, but saying that it's not overly expensive, you know, especially compared to a Juve. It does everything you need, 660, 850, simple to use control panel, no super fancy bells and whistles, which can be a good thing or a bad thing depending on who's buying it. The built-in uh, tabletop stand is simple to use and it works well. It means you don't have to add on any accessories or clip things on, which is always great. At the same time, you can still hang it, which is nice. It's nice and light, so you can travel with it. You could easily throw it in your suitcase and it's a metal design, so it's not gonna get crushed or anything there. The power output was okay, 47 peak, uh, milliwatts over centimeter squared, it's okay. Uh, again, you're not gonna use this for a full body treatment, um, but, for, for hitting your face or, or a targeted area, it's, it's, it's all good. Uh, EMF, there are better, but it's not, it's not alarmingly bad as well. So again, no big issues there. Overall, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be the right product for some people, but not everyone. I wish I could compare it in more detail to the other products on the market, but that is something I'll have to do in the future. So again, be sure to subscribe for that. If you did want to go and buy one of these, remember to use discount code Alex, A-L-E-X. will save you 10%, which is pretty neat. I've also got a few other products such as their mask and some really large body panels. So check them out while, while you're over at the website. Any questions, leave them below and um, I will do my best to answer them. All right guys, I'll see you later, bye.